What's up guys, it's Mike. It's Dan. Are you sick of your job? Because if you are, you can always go work on Mars. That's right, go work on Mars. Because this is not even like new, like 2009, NASA started their campaign to kind of um, recruit. Yeah. yeah, and they recruit. just recently recently re-released um, these, these posters yeah. and advertisements for potential positions in my knee. On Mars. Yeah. On Mars. Like, like, what? When are we going to Mars? Not for a long time. 2030. Yeah, apparently. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Okay. So, we're, all right. If you guys do, if you guys do some digging, there, there's, there's a brochure. Literally, NASA actually has brochures, has all these things that are basically like real things that they make, yeah. telling people step by step how and when we as the human race will start to colonize Mars. There's, there's an actual, so by 30, 30, sorry, 2030, they're hoping that, they're hoping that people can be on Mars like the Martian. I don't, I don't really understand why Mars, because it's not like you can live there without like a, like a like space suit or, or some kind of, kind of housing. Mm -hmm. And I mean, I watched the Martian, he didn't seem like he was enjoying that very much. Right. So first of all, so let me let, I'll answer your concern in a mm -hmm. sec. So first of all, yeah, if you're you 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 better have certain makeup. And we actually did we actually did a story like a month ago about what it takes to live on Mars. Okay. Or so this one guy says. So anybody who basically wants to you know explore, if you want to be a technician. Um, botanist, I don't know, like there's a lot of positions available. Okay? I don't think I want to be an explorer because if you look at the explorer, I mean, that guy's about to fall into a volcano or something. I, yeah, I don't want to be an explorer either, but you like climbing rocks though. I'm not, no, not like that. I mean, but I mean. I, I don't, I don't really want to be I mean, a, uh, a surveyor because that looks, that's, that looks dangerous. No, surveyor just surveying the land. It's like, oh look, it's flat. Or no, surveyor is easy. I don't want to be no, a technician. I do not want to be a technician. I don't want to be a botanist. Yo, if I if I go out to space, right? This is what I want to do. I just want to be in. I want to be like that dude in the mar in the Martian, where they're in a in, they're in a habitat, and I do some research. My fear, like we watch, I love space movies, right? Yeah. I don't know why, but I love them. But my my biggest fear as an astronaut is like in gravity where there's something is wrong and they're like, yo, damn, I need you to get out there and fix this. Where? Out there. In space. Like, that, that's, that's your biggest fear? That's my biggest fear. What's your, no, that's my biggest fear is I'm out in space and I'm like with, I got a wrench and I have to fix something. Like, yeah, my, my biggest fear is just like space in general and every planet that's not Earth because it's not like other planets, you can just like live there. No. But I'm saying, so your first part, but if you were if you were in a habitat, a man-made habitat, that's fine. It's just living on no. Earth. No, how's yeah. that fine? It's you breathe, you eat, you Have walk, you, yeah. you, that's you, you're normal. Okay, so but one like one rock flies through your window and you're dead. Well, probably not one rock, probably like a giant sandstorm. Doesn't matter. You're dead. Well, those are the risks. You can't you go outside, you're dead. You open a window, you're not you're dead. No, you have a spacesuit on, bro. And you eat potatoes every day. You're fine. You, you have a leak in your spacesuit, you're dead. Why would you get I'm saying, yeah, I'm saying you can walk no, but see like this is where I'm like, nah, you shouldn't be afraid of those things. You should be afraid of like in space in a suit and you get you know, you get like deflected Yeah, no, I'm, you know, I'm afraid of all things. You shouldn't space. be afraid like if you're in oh, Mars. So, no, well you shouldn't, you shouldn't be, be afraid, afraid that your if your spacesuit leaks you, you like burn to death or something. But it's not gonna leak. He's, How do you know it's not gonna leak? Wow. Because like Matt Damon's leaked. Because he, he was fix it. Because he was caught in a space storm and so stuff hit him. And then, and then like a thing went through his stomach. Because again, there was a there was a disaster. That's, so what I'm saying is it's not safe on the planet. I mean, for the most part, if you're in a in a habitat, okay, a man-made habitat, you're pretty safe. You're not safe. So you're just doing your thing every day. You're that I don't mind. You're gonna die. Like I like I said before, I if if I wasn't me and I'm and I'm like some guy that was like Hey man, I, I want to go to Mars. Uh, I could do it, like as long as I'm, I'm the guy on the ground. I got a spacesuit on and I'm doing my thing every day. I come back, take my mask off, it's deep, deep, depressurized. You know, like I'm fine. It's just I'm, I'm on Mars instead of Earth. You're gonna die. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure you're gonna die, and you will die. But the fact that they're 
they're planning this for 2013. So well, let me ask you, would you do it? N no, I wouldn't do it now as me. I'm saying, but I, I think I could do it if I had I'm to. I'm not doing it. Like if we had to re repopulate, like if, if the earth got wiped out, right? Yo, check it out, check it out. If the earth got wiped, yo, yo, if the earth got wiped out and they're, and they're enlisting people, I would sign up. Wait, wait, no, no, no. If the earth got wiped out, not everybody. Why would they? Out. Why would they enlist people? That's your only way of survival. No, 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 sorry, sorry, sorry. Let me let me rephrase that. If the Earth got wiped out because of some kind of uh, nat, like basically the resources are gone, and they're they're like we need to colonize another planet and re and habit habit form or terraform it into Earth. I'd be like, I'll go, because Earth is done. I will go. So so in Interstellar you would go. Yeah. Oh, that dude. Yeah, I'm out. I'm out. I'm out, dude. I'm Mc McConaughey. Well, you're living on a planet where you're you're gonna you're gonna die. So, but but I most would... people, you know, only he survived, right? Only him and Bullock survived. Everyone else who explored every other star, they all died. Yes, that's true. But him and him and Anne Hathaway survived. Yeah. So your odds are like not good. And and I would yes, but if I stayed on Earth, I would inevi inevitably Eventually, die. Eventually, you can live a few more years. By, yeah, but I'm living in 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 just not happy. But you got corn. Like yeah, I got corn and dust. No, you would pick the corn and dust. There's no meat. No, no, we we'd be up there. You would, right? We'll see. Yeah, we'll I would see. be up. There. I have to think about that. Put a suit on know, me. I'll go. Up there. Let us know if you guys would actually do this if that was the case and you could explore the world. Well, explore <laughs> slowly, very slowly, and could also die wherever you go. Let us know your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching. Bye. See you.